Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. You've probably played the game Rock, Paper, Scissors many times in your life. Maybe you've settled a friendly dispute, broken a tie, or just played for its fun. But did you know that there's much more to this game than meets the eye? Join us as we look at 10 things you might not have known about this classic game. Number 10. Practice with Affinity If you feel like your Rock, Paper, Scissors game is lacking, you can always practice online. Of course, there's an app for that. Affinity, as a company, works to develop an AI that can support a variety of businesses. But sometimes, AI proof of concept can be wildly more entertaining than real-world applications. And this web page that plays Rock, Paper, Scissors with you is no exception. Just allow access to your camera or opt for keyboard controls and you're ready to go. If you struggle to find this fun Easter egg on their website, you have to click on the Don't Click This option from the main navigation menu. Using some of the strategies learned later in our video, you may find your score improving against Affinity. Number 9. It paid well professionally, for a moment. In 2006, the game went professional. It might sound nuts, but the US did have its own league of pros. Mario Anastasov walked away with $50,000 and the title of first professional Rock, Paper, Scissors player in the US. The USA Rock, Paper, Scissors League has been disbanded since 2014, but if you timed it right, you could have replaced a full-time job salary with excellent gaming skills. It wasn't just Mario that was in on the action, either. The last annual tournament in 2014 set a Guinness World Record for the largest Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament in the world. They saw 2,950 participants. This record was impressive, but was decimated by a 2019 competition in Tianjin, Joy City, China, where 10,033 players participated over four days. Number 8. It has multiple names. It should not be surprising that a game that exists across the globe is known by different names depending on the location. In Malaysia, it's bird, water, stone. But in Indonesia, it's human, elephant, ant. Korea plays the game a bit differently. It's still called rock, paper, scissors in the Korean language, but the round only determines who will attack. The winner shouts the game's name and reveals the next attack, determining who gains points. Essentially, each round consists of two hands played. Number 7. Pokemon battles are based on the game's concept. If you've played just about any Pokemon game, you've played a loose rock, paper, scissors game. Think about the game system. When you start your Pokemon journey, you select a Pokemon type, usually fire, water, or grass. Sorry Pikachu, we don't include you in this analogy. Fire Pokemon beat grass types, water will beat fire, and grass beats water. While the game is more complicated than that, with different attack and defense tactics, it shows that there's no reason to mess with the classics. Just about every iteration of this mega popular game has used this mechanic. Number 6. The game made an appearance in court. In Florida, surprise surprise, a federal judge decided to have two lawyers solve a dispute with the game. It didn't determine the case's outcome, but it did help move the case along. The opposing sides had been long debating the appropriate location for a particular deposition. Judge Gregory Presnell finally had enough of the tiresome debate and ordered the sides to meet outside the courthouse, on the steps, and battle it out. A winner-takes-all game of rock, paper, scissors would decide the deposition location, somewhere in the designated county. Number 5. The game isn't random. Most would tell you that rock, paper, scissors are a game of chance. But research shows that most players have a tendency for unconscious moves and decisions. A Chinese study looked into this further. The study found that most players are likely to stick with winning moves. On the other hand, losing players were most likely to change their moves right away. Furthermore, players are most likely to move through the game's title sequence of rock, paper, scissors when changing moves. Number 4. The game dates back to 200 BCE. Chinese texts place the game in the Han Dynasty, which lasted from 206 BCE to 220 CE. Japanese history also references fist games of the three who are afraid of one another. This basic description holds true for a game A beats B, B beats C, and C beats A. Number 3. There are many variations of the game. If you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory on television, you might have heard of an upgraded version of the game. The group of geniuses often settled disputes with Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. And while you might assume the game was made up for the show's benefit, you'd be wrong. Diagrams exist to help players learn the hierarchy of signs for this version. Rock will beat both Scissors and Lizard. Lizard will beat Paper and Spock. 
and Spock will beat Scissors and Rock. Meanwhile, Paper beats Rock and Spock, while Scissors beat Paper and Lizard. Certainly more rules to be aware of, but the additional options change the probability of the game and make interesting, unexpected results more frequent. Number 2. Other species can play the game. We don't claim that other species play the game well, but they can play. Chimps can demonstrate playing the game at the level of a four-year-old. They learn the game slower than a toddler might, and the last pairing, C beats A, is the most challenging for them to learn. This circular reasoning gives an insight into the level of intelligence these animals possess. Number 1. There are examples of the game in nature. Some animals bet everything on rock-paper-scissors-style interactions. The common side-blotched lizard is one. There are three main colored throats that males have, orange, blue, and yellow. When competing for female attention, it's been observed that the lizards have a game mentality. Orange beats blue, blue beats yellow, and yellow beats orange. The female lizard has judging power, determining who will win her affection and partnership. Even bacteria get in on the game. A computer simulation in a Stanford University laboratory demonstrated the strange occurrence. When bacteria competed with each other in the intestines of mice, bacteria exhibited one of three characteristics. Antibiotic producers, antibiotic sensitives, and antibiotic resistors. Depending on which cells were competing, specific outcomes were predictable. A real-world example of the A beats B, B beats C, C beats A game theory. Which fact about rock, paper, scissors most surprised you? If these dynamics form a general evolutionary model, who knows where evolution is headed? What's your favorite game strategy? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, and good luck with your next rock, paper, scissors match. Thank <laughs> you.